Okay, joined by uh, Steve Ball today for a, a bit of an interview feature article for a uni project. Um, how are you? I'm absolutely fine, thank you. Lou's absolutely fine. We're still here, we're still going, aren't we? So we're going to carry on, aren't we? Yeah, got to carry on. on, keep buzzing away. Um, right, to start things off, um, just make sure it's adjust. We've got this photo here. Yeah. Um, okay. Let's show you the camera briefly there. <laughs> got the photo here, as you can see. Not, like you said, just a nice friendly gesture. Just talk me through. It was, yeah. We, we were having a bit of a, a tiff, I think it is. Uh, I think it was on about just, I think it's Steve Walsh. Uh, but uh, me and him had some wide battles on the field. Uh, and I always say, if, we had got, if we'd have got him a centre half in the Wolves team when I was playing, would it would have been solid as because he'd have stopped him at the back and I'd have been good yeah. at the front. But as I say, he, he wound me up, I wound him yeah. up, he elbowed me, I tried to hit him and and that was the that was the that was the way the game was played in them days, you know I mean nothing no malice. Yeah, it's, it's a good battle between that, the two. That's all it was a good battle, you know what I mean? We didn't go in there to try and maim each other or break each other's leg. It was like, come on, then roll your sleeves up and have a good go, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> uh, it's all, all still engaged. Part and parcel of playing football, yeah, week in, week out. Yeah, exactly. It's all about it as well, yeah. <laughs> no. Um, yeah, following on from that then, um, I, I looked up, I hope I've got this stat right, but one of ten players to play in the, from the Championship to play for England. Yeah. Um, how do you feel about that? Like? Um, you know, at the time, you know, I thought, why me? You know what I mean? Because I was playing for... Wolverhampton Wonders, Stevie Ball from Tipton, who hadn't got a first touch in them <laughs> days, you know what I mean? And the next minute you're playing for England, you know what I mean? Going to the World Cup in 1990, you know what I mean? Thinking, what's this all about? And uh, I've got, a, I've got, a, I've got a, a signed shirt in my hall, uh, signed by all the England players and Bobby Robson and all the coach and all that. I've got my fourth place World Cup, and I still have to pinch myself now. <laughs> every time I get up, I think, have I actually got that? Have I earned that? Yeah. But it's one of them, you know what I mean? I, I don't realise what people think of me like as a legend and yeah. I've played score goals and do this. I, I don't think of it like that. I'm just like a normal person like yourself. Yeah. Get on my job to the best I can and you know I mean like I say, I still pinch myself when I look at that shirt on the wall. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, know, definitely. Um walking out for the first time for England, um, I saw another interview. There was quite a few Wolves fans who, who came to watch and stuff. Mm. How did that feel like those coming on? Did you expect that or? Yeah, no, it's 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 really it's really weird. You know I mean because 'Cause I've got quite a few mates who are Wolves fans. Yeah. And they followed me when I played for England, you know what I mean? Because uh, you know, once, once I started coming to Wolves, I think there was about 2,000 Wolves fans at the end of my career, looking at 35,000 Wolves fans, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, and uh, yeah. some of them, quite a few of them, are, are mates. And uh, this is a, just a silly, stupid story because um, uh, when, when we're down in London, when I'm playing down in London, I didn't know anything was going on. You've got all these cockneys all giving yeah. all these <laughs> apples and pears and all these stuff like and who's this Stevie Ball? Who's this Stevie Ball? And when I scored the goal against Czech Republic, all my mates stood up and went, that's Stevie <laughs> Ball for you. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. it's really weird, but my mates, you know, my mates treat me as though I'm like, like you, just normal, yeah. like your, your mum, your dad, your, your mate, your brother. I'm exactly the same as anybody else, and my mates recognise that as well, and that's why they follow me with England. Yeah, 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 definitely. Um, after you played in uh, Italia 90, obviously, you probably had quite a few people interested in you at different clubs. Um, what sort of drew you to stay to Wolves rather than move elsewhere? I think it's just the the place itself and the people. I think okay. the, uh, the black country people are absolutely unbelievable. You know, I mean, what's yes is yes, what's no is no. There's no in between. There's no saying I might do, I might not do. That do yes then, and I just love the people, and that's why I'm still in now, 35 years old. <laughs> you know, you know, like it's my second home. You know, I mean, I'm very, very, very fortunate. But as you say, you know, I mean, I've, I've enjoyed every single minute of it, and I could have gone to other clubs. Yeah. Uh, I could have gone to when I went to the, come back from the World Cup. The club put me on a five-year deal to keep me here. They wanted to keep me here. I thought, I'll have that all day long, so in the future. Yeah. Uh, I could have gone to Torino in Italy. I could have gone to Newcastle before Andy Cole went to Newcastle. I could have gone to Coventry and I could have gone to Celtic. Yeah. They're the four teams I could have gone to. And I thought, well, why do I need to go? Yeah. You know, why do I need to? Happy you know, I was happy here. Yeah. I'm still happy here now. You know, I mean, like you say, when you come in reception, all that bully, how you doing, how you Steve? You know, it's like a family. It's like it's a, it's a beautiful club to be at, and, and obviously being ones that have played. Well, not not just being ones, but being loved at a place. It's you have to you have, to, you have to gain that. You have to I gain it. You. you have to gain it. But I mean, it, it's, I think if even if I didn't gain, it, I think when I walked through the door, they'd, be, they'd talk to me normal anyway. Yeah, you know, it's yeah, like, yeah exactly. As you're a normal person, I think if I was a big time Charlie, my collars up, and I didn't want to talk to anybody, that can who was that? T W A T. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I mean? But now I just walk in there, and it's. It, like I say, it's like my house. They, they might as well give me the keys here <laughs> to come in on a couple <laughs> of tears. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, 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 for sure. Um, yeah, no, following on from that, obviously playing in a, in a big major tournament against many aims, 
Who would you say is the best player you've played against? Well, played against, oh my word, you know, I mean, you could, you could look at anybody in the World Cup, yeah. all world class, that's what yeah, I'm saying, yeah, yeah. all world class players. I don't, in the normal league itself, uh, when I played, it weren't about the other players. Yeah. I weren't wor you worried about the yeah. opposition, it was about myself going out there and giving me all, putting the blinkers on and doing my own job. But the, the, class, the world class, if you say to me, who was my favourite player at the time, you know, I'd, I'd say uh, Zinedine Zidane. Yeah, yeah. He was my all time favourite player, you know, I mean, and. Uh, I liked him because he kept a button beam down. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't say that. He got sent up for that. But, uh, he was a world class player. Yeah. Then you had the bird camps after that. Yeah. In the certain players, very classy footballers, and Eden Hazard. I mean, I like the midfielders who, who got really good feet. You know, a bit like, a bit like him there. Yeah, 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 for sure. <laughs> bit of creativity. Um, yeah, talking of modern football and things like that. Um, is there any? What are the biggest things you kind of noticed about what's changed from when you were playing to, to today? And is there anything you wish from today you had, or is there anything you're glad you missed out on? First question: Would I, would I, uh, okay, would I like to play nowadays, or would I like to play then? No, I'd not change a, a single thing from when I played. Walls from '86 to '99, nothing at all. When I look at these players, I think they're all spoiled. Yeah, they're all spoiled. <laughs> you know what I mean? They get people putting the boots on, and I'd be too tight. They loosen off really. I'd like, just dab my head really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, what a joke! I don't. I don't. They have everything done for them. They have everything yeah. done for them. Their dietitians, the food, the, the the fitness people. We had we had hardly nothing. We had a physio. Yeah. That's all we had. A physio, a doctor, a manager, and that was it. <laughs> get out there and do it. And uh, yeah, I mean, this day and age, yeah, I'd like to play this day and age because I probably wouldn't have to do as much groundwork. Yeah, uh, because uh, in them days you had to run back and get the ball yourself and go forwards. Where now the balls are born a plate and all this we are in yeah. that box. So I'd save all my energy uh, into that air. So that's the only only reason I'd probably like to play now. But when I played then, I'd like I'm happy with that. I'm, the way they play, yeah, the hard, hard fighting, working, have a proper yeah. game and put a tackle in rather than falling over and crying. In the and <laughs> just get on with it. That's it. Just get on with it. Yeah. 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 No. Definitely. Um, so. Yeah, well, I was, my next question off the back of that was, um, is there anything you, you're glad you, you missed from today? But you kind of That's more or less it. I mean, I, I miss nothing at all, nothing at all. I mean, I know they, it's, it's yeah, well, I probably must have missed probably about the 100 grand a week. Yeah, <laughs> you wish that was in the Oh, man. <laughs> I wish I was playing now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, definitely. No, it ain't. It, yeah. it, it, it is. A lot of it's all about money these days. Yeah. You know, and uh, the thing I hate, not hate, dislike about uh, certain players these days when they go up and kiss the badge like this all the time, and then two weeks later they've gone to another club. I was going to say, yeah, there's a lot That's of players. That's one thing I don't, I don't like about the thing. You know, I mean, I never used to, I've never done that in my life. I've never kissed my badge. Whatever, you wear it with pride, you wear your heart on your sleeve, and that's it, you get out there and do it. And when they're hard, I, 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 just, I just look, what they're doing? Yeah, what they're doing? They obviously don't love And then they go, and it's the same as Ali Kane, you know, he wants to win trophies, wants to win trophies. So he stops the top, and they give him 300 grand a week. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 for sure. What do you want? Sorry, Ali, sorry, I didn't mean that. No, no. <laughs> He's probably on more than that. <laughs> probably probably give him a pay, pay cut. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, going back to the England topic, obviously, um, debut goal against Scotland, um, <clears throat> what did that mean to you? Talk me through it. That, that was goal. scary, that was, you know, I mean, because I think I was in the under, I was an overage player, I think I was 23 at the time, and I was in Albania somewhere, or somewhere, uh, with Dave Sexton, who was number two to uh, Alex Ferguson at Manu, but he was the manager of the under 21s, okay. and he took, you know, for like two or three overage players, yeah. and I was one of the overage players playing there, and I had a knock on my door one night, and he went, uh, You've got to go to Scotland. I went, wow, go to Scotland. Went, no, no. Yeah, mate, I was in a car, in a plane, in a thing, and I was in Scotland, four o'clock in the morning next day, had about four hours sleep, got on the couch, training session with them, got on with it. My first touch was getting better because the pitch was, pitches were better, and the players were like, sorry, players that and they don't play over there, but the players yeah. were skillful. They gave me the ball the way I wanted it and have it back, so I was getting better and better. As I was going on, and a certain gentleman called uh, uh, Brian Robson, who used to play for West Brom at the time, took me under his wing, and he just said, "Listen, you keep doing what you're doing, what you do for your club, do for England." He said, "Don't change it at all." Yeah. And he more or less gave me the confidence, say, "Go out there and do it." And uh, on my debut, I, I couldn't get me out on man, I couldn't because the day before, you you probably don't know these uh, Saints and Greavesley were on ATV Today or ATV Sports, and uh, they've got uh, T-shirts on, let the ball loose. Bully's going to oh, get you. Okay, yeah. yeah, you've got to, you've got to look it up. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. they're saying Bully's got to have a chance. Bully's got to have a chance because Greaves was like a 
a Wolves person anyway, and uh, got to give him a chance. And, uh, and as they, when they got me on the bench, oh man, the Wolves fans knew about it the day before. So I walk out of Hamden Park, you've got 86,000 people, 80,000 jocks, 6,000 England, right in the corner, I go, Jesus Christ, there's 3,000 Wolves fans there. <laughs> I'm going like this, I'm like Peter Kay, I'm going, you come to see me, you come yeah. to see me, even though I was on the bench. And when I scored, man, when I, had, when I scored, I, I couldn't get my hat on my head. I was like watching the Muppets up and down, like <laughs> in the corner, jumping up and down with the, with the arms in the air. And I thought, oh my God, I've scored my debut against yeah. Scotland. The yeah. best team that you can score against me in England. You know what I mean? And you've got all the there as well, just to add to that, it. That was all it was. And, yeah. the, and, and they, that, they followed me ever since after that year. I mean, it was absolutely it was unbelievable, unbelievable. The sport here and the sport for England was absolutely brilliant. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And I suppose that alludes back to what you said earlier about being loved at the club and feeling like a home to you. you if you've moved elsewhere, for example, you might not have had that. Obviously, you had England yeah. fans following you, but yeah. those particular Wolves fans as well. Yeah, they, yeah. It, it, it's like they follow for a bit. Do you want to come back to the club? It's famous Robbie Keane went. Do you want to come back? Do you want somebody to go and come back? No, they want you to stop here. They want you to be part of this big yeah. this big empire they're trying to build at the moment. You know, I mean, I'm still part of it. And uh, the fans, like I say, you know, thank me for, that, for, for doing that, putting these back on the map. Because in 1986, when I came here, it was third from bottom to nearly into going his liquidation yeah. and all of a sudden that season we kicked on finished halfway and then went up and up and up the crowds went up and up and up and then the club got belief in everybody and uh, yeah, I mean, they, they, they thank me for doing that yeah yeah for sure that, that's what I was going to ask next about how when you joined Wolves I think were they fourth division at the time yeah or? bottom of the fourth division West, uh, West Brom <laughs> sorry <laughs> <that's>, uh, <coughs> <laughs> I guess I, 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 no, I couldn't believe you played them. <laughs> played them before now. I seem like, crazy now. It's like me saying to you, Man U, Man yeah. City. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now it's one of the things when, yeah. when, when I was at West Brom. That was like I think that was like second or third from the top of Division One at the time, which is the Premiership now. Yeah. And I'd uh, I think I played five games and I scored three goals for them in the first team. And I thought because they got the likes of Imre Verardi, Garth Crooks, George Riley, then on quite a bit of money, and I was on Aldi nothing. Yeah. And Ron Saunders just came in the one day and says, well, we don't you know much as why? He says, we haven't got a, you haven't got a first touch with this division. I went, well, what have we got to do? He says, well, Wolves went down the road, you and Tomo. Went, are you sure? And I pleaded with him for that 20 minutes, say, I want to play football here. And he says, no, you don't get down the road. Then. Okay, so we come down the road here in Big Orange Courtin, I mean, Tomo. We pulled outside here and it was like a dump. <laughs> Honestly, it was like it was, there was nothing open. Yeah. You got that stand, the John Island over there, about a mile away. You got the old concrete uh, south bank there. The cow shed was all run down. This was all shut up. And I thought, I mean, Tom, I just looked at each other, what are we doing here? <laughs> but we just wanted <laughs> to play football. Yeah. We wanted yeah. to play football. And Graham Turner, he, he, he believed in us. Uh, he, he sold it to us. I don't know how he did it, but he sold it to us. And we just said, we just want to play football. So we come straight here. We never looked back since. Back and I suppose that gave you the t- determination as well because obviously going from that to then this, you realise, oh, I've, I've come down to it, I've got to work hard, I've got to prove myself. And that did that, that your manager from there send you to here and then obviously went on to do what you did. I did think, it, I think, Lucy, if I hadn't come from well, my background, I've come from yeah. me and Tom out because we, we, we're from working, working based backgrounds, you know, what I mean, so I had three jobs for to play football. Tom, I think Tom was an electrician before he played football, so we knew we could go back to that yeah. if we had to. That was our, our last option. Yeah, yeah. We took the gamble to come here, and like I say, that job was in distant yeah, now. We hadn't thought yeah. about it, you know, and uh, as you say, you appreciate what's in front of you, get on with it, and if you can't, like you say, people say they can't work. They can wash cars, can wash windows, can cut lawns. Anybody can work if, they, if they've got the work ethic yeah. in them, and I think that's where the success I had from me was where I was brought up with mum and dad, yeah. work ethic. You get the work ethic in, you'll work anywhere and you, you, you get to the best you can. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Um, <coughs> on the back of that then, from obviously coming to Wolves, having a hat for, of goals, stand named after you, everything like that. I know it's very hard to pinpoint, <laughs> but what would you say your best memory on the pitch at Wolves? Oh, best memory, oh my word. Oh gee, uh, I don't know, uh, because like I said, I've scored three yeah. six goals. I got 18 hat tricks. You know, I mean, I, there's everybody says to me, "What's your favourite goal? What's this and whatever." I haven't really got nothing. Yeah. I, I was just happy with the just Enjoy over the 14 years what I've been here. You know, I mean, I'm still enjoying it now. Yeah. So I haven't got. You know, I mean, if you said to me a favourite goal, I say Birmingham here when we beat them three two, West Brom away when we won two one last minute, uh, the England Scotland goal, and the Czech goal. I can pinpoint certain goals there, but the, the overall time is me. Yeah, That's yeah, it. I've, 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 the whole experience. I've, you know, I mean, as you say. I love the football, that's gone now. Sometimes I can't watch it, I have to sit and stand up a glass of wine and watch it rather than watch the football. 
Uh, but this part, I like this part now. This part's yeah. the easy part now. Yeah, just talking just about it. it. Talking just about it. Yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> um, and lastly, then Wolves today, which is doing pretty well. What, what, what do you make of them today? And oh my word! Go? Yeah, uh, what, how far can we go? It all depends whether the club are, are going to put their hands in the pockets. You know, I think. Uh, We've established ourselves now. You know, I thought the first year we come to the Premiership, though, we've got to stop here now. That's the main thing you got to do, is stop here. Even if we finish fourth and bottom, stop in this league. And I think now we've established ourselves. We, we've had managers come, managers go. Nuno's a big part, big part of it, Nuno is. Bruno's going to take us on a bit further. But it all depends whether they give them money or not. Yeah. Because we must have one of the smallest squads in the Premiership. And if we, you, you look at our bench, some of those, there's kids there, 17, 18, 21, yeah. you're thinking, these have got to go and play up against these players here. So we're a bit yeah, bare. Yeah, we're a bit bare. But as you say, being a bit bare, touch wood, over the last few years we've had too many injuries, yeah. you know I mean, which is a big bonus, yeah, yeah. a massive bonus. So well, you're gonna get up one or two injuries, yeah. you, start, you start going down yeah, slippery yeah. slope. So I think we've established ourselves now over the years to come. All I want to see now is a bit more investment in some probably top quality players who we know about, who are who are doing it in the premiership or on the on the bench for other clubs who are good players who can come in and do add addition to the club and fingers crossed to get in the top six. Yeah, top six. You mean get back into Europe again, you mean because I think all the fans have been been waiting years and years and years to get into Europe. They did it the one year and they absolutely loved it. The fans did saying I went there, I went to Braga, yeah. Barcelona went there and they absolutely enjoyed it. So the fans are here. Yeah. I just need the players here now to say, come on, let's let's yeah. get this even higher. So I want to see us in the top six. Yeah. I think that's definitely achievable, especially after, like I said, the other well, no, yeah, 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 yeah. You now. can't tell his Man City, can you? You no, can't no. tell his Man City. He went, Wolves <laughs> beat Man U, didn't they? Yeah. <laughs> Big win, though. Big win. They're just managed by three points. That's what, what I'm trying to say. You're not too far off. We're not now. too far off. And uh, when they mentioned the uh, the top six to me, what is the top six? Yeah. They're only the top six in my eyes. Yeah, no, it's right? not. It, there might yeah. be a top two, you know what I mean? But yeah. the top six, it could be anybody's. Because West Ham were there, we were there. I mean, there's loads there. You mean you got Tottenham's, Liverpool's, Arsenal's, Chelsea's, uh, Man City, Man U. You know what I mean? You're looking at like eight, nine, yeah. ten, yeah, ten no, teams. Yeah. So there isn't the top six. Because West Ham, mm. like you said, they're last they're in there. Flying. Yeah. Also, that's what we're doing. Yeah. It. yeah. And it's, yeah, Leicester are doing it as well. There's so many teams. Some of the ones. So, so I'd, I, my, my, I'd love this this club here to go some strength, to strength now, get in the top six, get European football on the on, back on the map again, and uh, as you say. We'll get there. Brilliant. Right. That yeah, that's brilliant. Thank you. That, that wraps up the interview. Um, yeah. No, yeah. Thank you. Thanks for the interview. Yeah. Thanks for big Lewis. By the way, Lewis top draw. Man City fan. That's it. <laughs> Boom. No. Good interview. By the way. Thank you. Brilliant. <laughs>